Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to um, add private server perks to your game. Also, if you guys want me to show you how to um, make these like snowflakes falling from the sky, I can do that. It's not too hard. Um, just tell me down in the um, comment section below. And let's get right into it. So the first thing I need to do is add, add a script into server script service. So I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to name it uh, private... Uh, server perks, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. And then, the first thing we need to do in the script is we need to check if it is a private server. So, if game dot private server ID uh, actually uh, for the people who are new to this, I'm just going to do um, because so, I'm just going to do not because um, some of you don't know how to do this key um, so yeah, so you just do if not game dot private server um id uh, equals equals um nothing and uh not game dot uh private server owner id uh equals equals uh nil. Then next thing I'm going to do is check when someone's um added. So game dot players dot player added connect function plr because i'm just gonna i'm just gonna um name the player plr and then we need to check if the plr is the owner of the server so if plr dot user id uh equals equals uh, oops equals equals game dot uh game dot uh private server owner id then we are going to start adding the perks so the first thing that you need to do is just wait because it'll get a little um like sometimes it can get a little messy if it uh if you don't wait a little bit um but I'm gonna be going over three things that you can do t today I'm gonna be going over um making it so um they're a little bit faster than the other people and um uh making them have a GUI and making them have a soul oh well, making them have a tool any tool. Uh, so what we're gonna so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna um do the speed. So what we're, how we're gonna do this is we're gonna do plr dot character uh character dot humanoid yeah character dot human okay okay dot walk speed uh is equal to thirty because that's kind of like a run. So I'm gonna make them faster. Then now we're gonna um have to make the GUI. So uh I guess I can just make like a quick GUI. Um this won't be too hard. I'll just uh do this. And guys, if you want the owner to um have like chat hacks, go to my um other video. Uh I made a chat hacks video, so you can just take that model. And uh yeah. So I'm just gonna quickly add in a little local script to it. So, um, uh, actually, you know what, I don't need to make a dragon move. Okay, you can just, uh, get it from, you can just get, um, chat hacks. You can just get the, yeah, just get the chat hacks, um, yeah, you can make your own GUI. I'm just gonna make it like this, um, I'm just gonna make it very basic, just this, um, and you gotta put it into replicated storage so that you can just store it there. And then you gotta get um a tool, so I'm just gonna get a sword. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to grab a sword. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. So um now I'm just gonna put the sword into replicated storage too. Then let's go back into our script, and we're gonna um now we're gonna um uh put, give them to the player. So we're gonna do game dot uh, game dot replicated storage dot screen GUI because we're gonna do this to the GUI first. Clone dot parent is equal to plr dot player GUI. That's just gonna make it so the um so that it gives it to the player. Okay, so now we gotta do our tools. So we're gonna do game dot play uh no game dot replicated storage dot classic sword. Uh, clone dot parent is equal to plr dot backpack. Okay, 
So that should um work just right. But um if you guys are giving them admin commands, uh, actually I'll just go over admin commands in the next video. I'll do a part two of this. Um, it should say part one in the in the title. Um, I never knew that I would have to do a part two, but I will. So this should work. Um, but how we're gonna test this out is we're going to go to our home tab and we're going to click game settings. And you can't see my game settings, but um, you guys should see like all this like basic info permissions, blah blah blah. Um, you need to go into monetization. And then if you go down a bit, it should say price and it should be set to paid. You should you need to set that to free and then click save. So once you're done with that, um you have to go back to your you have to um go to Roblox Studio. I mean not Roblox Studio, um the create page on Roblox and you guys can't see it, but um I am I am on the create page on Roblox. And you need to go to your, you need to look at your game, and then you need to click on the start place. And that should bring you to the, um, your game. And then just go down to servers, and click create private server. And then what you need to do is just join your private server. So, I'm going to show my private server, so it's going to go black for a bit, um, because it's loading. Um, also, don't make fun of my avatar, um, it's not that great, I know. Um, I'm still uh, adding stuff to it. Um, but yeah, it should work. Yep, I have a sword. Everything. Ah. I'm fast. I have the GUI. And I have sword. Also, sword is broken for some reason. I don't know why. Classic sword is broken. But there you go, guys. Um, yeah, don't make fun of my avatar. I told you it's, it, I, it's a work in progress. It's, it's a work in progress. Okay, well... Um, that should be it for this video, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, peace out, boys.